Good morning. I just woke up. Still got my glasses on. We're still in bed. He's taking a personality quiz. And uh, yeah. Gotta get up soon. Time to make some breakfast. Mm, I go with the sky. It says asleep on one I mean, it says awake on one side and asleep on the other side. I'm gonna have some toast. And this is where I keep all my tea. I, think I want a mint tea. It's a green bag. Yes. Got my toast and my tea and the candle and you. What are you eating? Oh, nice. <laughs> Is that some cinnamon toast crunch? Yeah. Yum. Nutritious. Okay. Almost ready for the day. Gotta put on some deodorant. I have so much laundry. So, even though it's like 40 degrees outside, I'm wearing these cropped leggings. So, hopefully, I won't be too cold. You ready to go? Yeah. We just have this absolute massive amount of laundry to take with us that is gonna probably take forever. All right, we made it in the car with all the laundry. You ready? Little does he know, we'll probably be going to the mall later. <laughs> yeah? No. Wait, did you put that setting on the camera or? What? Like that it makes it look like edited a little bit? No. Oh. It's just good quality. Yeah, it's my camera. It's my camera. No. Okay, we're gonna leave now. <laughs> Yeah, I look bald. Um, we're going out to lunch. Why are you yelling? We're going out to lunch. And I didn't vlog anything in my house because my mom was like, "Stop, no cameras." I'm just kidding. I really want to drive through that leaf pile. Just pow. Explore. No, we're not gonna do that. We're going to, oh no, I've really twisted this guy up. We're going to one of my favorite restaurants ever. He's never eaten at. So, check in when we get there. Oh. oh my gosh, all the leaves. Oh my God, they really are all just like blowing onto my yard. We just ate a really good lunch but I didn't film in there. Well, actually I did, but on my phone. I didn't bring the camera in the restaurant. Did you like it? Yeah, it was all right. It was good. I got a chicken pot pie and mashed potatoes. My hair looks weird. And you got a pulled pork sandwich. I also got, oh, that's close. I also got clam chowder and we ate at this place right here called Patty's in Newton. It's like a little Irish pub. So now we are heading to the grocery store to get a couple of things. We don't need too much. You ready? Yeah? What are you doing? Huh? 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 What? <laughs> Nature's promise, right? What? <laughs> Hey everyone so we kind of warped back to my apartment at school we where did I leave off I think I have a clip of oh of when we were leaving the restaurant so we left lunch we went back to my house hung out with my mom for a little bit and facetimed my sister who's at school and then actually I should have filmed because my cat at home 
her name is Franny. She apparently, we thought, or my mom thought, caught a mouse the other day because this morning or yesterday morning, my mom found like little drops of blood near the couch in the living room. And obviously it wasn't like anybody in the house that was bleeding, it was probably a mouse. So my mom was like, I bet it's behind the couch. So as soon as she moved one of the tables, she saw it and I was like, no thank you. I'm gonna run to the kitchen and hide. So Connor ended up picking it up with, um, what are they called? Like, not like tweezers, but like, the things that like pinch, I don't know. But for the fireplace, um, and just kind of threw it outside. So then we went to a sports store so that I could get insoles for my sneakers. And then we went to the mall, which we really didn't need to go to, but I kind of wanted to go. And I went into Lululemon and I wanted to try to see if I liked any of the um, yoga pants, but they're too flared. I, I don't know. I didn't like them. I tried them on them. And then we went into Lush, my favorite store. It's my favorite store. I have a bit of a giant obsession with it. But also, I just got a job there. So I thought I'd do a little bit of a Lush haul and show you guys what I got. I already have a bit of a collection going so far. Um, I use a lot of stuff from there. I use my shampoos, my conditioners, my body washes from there, anything that I wash my face with. Um, all of my lotions, so literally everything that I use is from there. And right here is where I keep my bath bombs. Oh, the bear fell over. So, let's get to it. I'll show you guys what I got. And if you don't really care about Lush at all, just click off the video now because this is probably going to take me a while. So, let's see. Their holiday stuff is out now. Um which is awesome and the scents for those I really really like um so that's like a lot of what the products are that I got and every bath bomb that I add or that I get out of this I'm going to add to my collection all right let's see here all right so we'll start with the shampoo bar that I got so I got this shampoo bar so it's a nice little pink color this is called lullaby I've never used a shampoo bar from there before, but I've heard a ton about them. My sister's, I think my sister's used them before. Yeah. Um, so basically what you do with these is you get your hair wet, you're in the shower and you take this and you can just rub it on the top of your head or like lift your hair up and do like a little, and you just do as much as you get a lather that's enough for you to just put it down and just wash your hair with what you've put on. Um, this one I think has a lot of lavender in it, so it's really good for, um, soothing like an irritated scalp which mine's not i just love the smell of lavender this just smells like straight up lavender it smells so good what's next okay so as i said i love to take baths this i've never tried before but i did pick one up today this is a bath oil it has this little thing sticking out of the top which i assume is some sort of vanilla but yeah, it smells like, oh, you know, it smells like cookies, kind of. I think it's like it's supposed to be vanilla, but this one's called a luxury, lu lux luxury bath milk? I don't know, let me look this up. Oh, okay. Oh, no, that one's called Floating Island. Oh, they're called luxury bath oils. So the one that I just showed you is called Floating Island, and it says, let your troubles melt away with sandalwood and vanilla. So I know this has a lot of um, like cocoa butter and shea butter, which is really moisturizing for your skin. So I know that when you use that, you just drop it right into the bath. So this guy is a bubble bar and it looks like a little jug of milk. Um, it just smells like, it has like a lot of glitter at the top. Um, to me, this just smells like like lotion kind of like like a cocoa butter 
It just smells like straight up cocoa butter, to be honest with you. Um, that I've used before. I really like it. I actually used one the other day. And I finished the other half of it last night. I didn't really love how the first time I used it, I used kind of like the top half. Because you can get about two baths out of that or one that's like super, super bubbly. So the first time I used it, I had all the glitter from the top part of that. I feel like I have it all over my face. Um, and when I got out of the tub, I that was one night that I didn't take a shower afterwards. And I felt like I was just covered in glitter. Which some people might like. Um, this guy I already have. But it's my favorite one right now, so I don't ever want to be without one. This. Please focus, please. Okay, yeah. It's so pretty and Christmassy. Mm, it smells so good. So this is called Luxury Lush Pud. Yes, Pud, not Pud. We were told that at work. So Luxury Lush Pud is short for pudding, which is like a dessert. Well, it's a dessert here, but in the UK, pudding is like, I think it's like basically any dessert. I don't really know but the scent for this bath bomb is the scent for another nor like non-seasonal year-round bath bomb called twilight which is actually my favorite and is also the same scent as the sleepy lotion that I have basically it's my favorite scent in the whole store um, that is super, super relaxing and has a ton of lavender in it and vanilla, which are probably my two favorite scents regardless. Um, what else do we have here? Oh, this one's cool. I have never used this one before. This is called So White, not Snow White, So White. And it kind of looks like a white apple. This is like a leaf at the top. And it literally smells like crisp, fresh apples. This is more of, it doesn't really smell that sweet. And it doesn't really smell like citrusy at all. Um, I love, I really like the smell of this. I've heard that the inside of this is blue. I might be wrong about that. I think it might be blue and green. I don't know if I've ever, ever seen the inside of this before, but... Like looking at it, I would just assume that this would make a white bath. Yum, I love the smell of that actually. I'm gonna take a bath tonight, so I don't know what I'll use, but I'll definitely show you guys when I decide. I think I got one more bath bomb. Yeah, this little guy. Well, what's that? Oh, I know what that is. Um, this is also one from the Christmas range, which obviously because it's a little Santa. Please look and focus. Focus. Isn't he cute? So this is a little hat. This bath bomb is called Father Christmas, which is what they call Santa, I think, in the UK, which is where Lush began, in case that's confusing. Um... This smells so good. I've had one of these before this year, but it was like a while ago. This says it's supposed to smell like candy floss, which I've just learned candy floss is the same thing here as cotton candy. And I don't really like the smell of cotton candy and this doesn't smell very strong. It smells, it smells kind of like vanilla to me, so I don't know. Um, but I do love, I love that one. It is a bit of a more sweeter scent though than like a cocoa butter one or whatever. Um, but actually something interesting about that that I learned the other day, so I'll pick it up again to show you guys. So, you see how he kind of has like this goofy little grin going on like with his mouth? I learned that this bath bomb was created originally for the movie The Lorax when that came out. The people of The Lorax asked Lush like, we want you to make an exclusive bath bomb that looks like the Lorax whatever and we want the rights to it like we want to own the design and own like whatever the people of Lush were like no no we like they drew up the design and everything but then they were like we own all of our products and the rights to all of our products like we can't just like have you own this one in our store 
Um, so they never made the deal, but this sketch was from, or this design is from the design of the Lorax. So kind of without his hat, I would say, and maybe, I think it's the part of his smile that looks like the Lorax. Um, I don't know if you can see that, but I thought that was kind of interesting. Somebody told me that the other day. All right, one more, like, oh, I really got a lot of stuff today. There's a lot more in here. One more, like, bath thing, kind of. This is also from the Christmas range. His name is Peeping Santa. It's like a little, I don't know, Peeping Santa. This is a bubble bar. So this is one that you would crumple underneath the running water and it would make bubbles in your bath. This one I've never tried before. I think, I assume that um, the white parts of this is cocoa butter. Um, so that'll be really moisturizing. I see it at the top too, so it might be like within it. Um, this one smells like strawberries. It's a bit more of like a sweet scent. Like I wouldn't want this all the time. Um, but it does smell really good. These kind of like chocolate chips. But I doubt they are. Okay, so this is something that I've been wanting to try. I wanted one of these for a while, but I tried it at work the other day and I really liked it. So this is a body butter. Okay, so this is what it looks like. So what you do with this is you can use it in either the shower or the tub. Um, I bought a tin to go for it to go in. But basically, if I'm in the tub, um, I would just take this and rub it on my like body, whatever, and it like moisturizes you so you don't necessarily have to use a lotion afterwards. But it has ground almonds in it, which will kind of exfoliate your skin, but not in a harsh way. I put this down, it's kind of melting in my hand. I have sensitive skin, so I don't always want to moisture. I mean, I'm, I always want to moisturize. I don't always want to exfoliate my skin every day because um, it dries out my skin, but it's a cute little tin to go in it. Um, that is like a gentle way to moisturize and exfoliate your skin at the same time. So I'm excited to try that. Oh shit, that's kind of open. This is the second to last thing that I got. It's called Rose Jam Shower Gel. Um, this is the smallest size. This is like a travel size, but they didn't have any of the other ones in stock. Um, this I've never used before. So this says that it has rose absolute, vanilla pod infusion, and nourishing argan oil. Um, this was kind of the most relaxing. This is the last thing I got. It is a face mask. It's called Cup of Coffee. It's like this big. This is the smallest size that they had. If anybody has ever used Frank's before, which I don't have here with me, but I did love and do actually love that body scrub. And that stuff comes in like a bag um, and it makes like a giant mess, but they do have um, a thing that comes in the bottle that is kind of like a face mask of their scrub, but is mixed with more of like liquid base so that it's easier to rub on your face. This is essentially the exact same thing. It smells exactly the same. It does exactly the same thing um, that your skin would get from the Franks. It just smells like straight up coffee. This is what it looks like. It looks kind of like crap, but it smells really good. So yeah, that's all I got today. And I've now made a giant mess in the bathroom. Time to fix the bathroom for my bath. All right, what do I want? I think I want one of these guys. And I've got the water like really, really hot, so it'll be able to look good. Pretty. All the little sections of color kind of just like poof. It ends up turning into, I want to say like a purpley bath. Doesn't that look so cool? Zoom in so you guys can see. It's like spinning. So I'm gonna take a bath and watch my Gilmore Girls. And then I'll check back with you guys after. I just got out of my bath. 
and I took a shower afterwards to wash my hair. And I am going to make us some hot chocolate. Mm, I want this mug. And I want this mug. <laughs> Significantly smaller. Oops. And the hot chocolate's all done. Table. You're welcome. Thank you. I put fluff in mine. We don't have whipped cream, which makes me sad. Don't you not like whipped cream? Huh? Isn't it you that doesn't like whipped cream? I don't like whipped cream. Yeah. Well, I love whipped cream, especially my hot chocolate, but we don't have any. So I put fluff in it. Gotta clean up. This will not close. Oh, the camera is flashing low battery. Great. Well, I guess I'll sign off then. I'm gonna eat this and we're gonna watch vlogs and then go to bed. It's almost 11. Bye. You wanna say bye? What? Bye, say bye. Too late.